I got sad. That's to be expected. So I know. So I went to um, Dominic's grave. You know, I just, I, I felt like I needed to be near. Her. I know. And this Danielle person was there at her grave. At Dominique's grave. Yes, right. How do you know her? Uh, met her at the hospital. Will you tell me something? What, what do you think of her? She seems very sweet. A bit sad. That's it. That, see, that's exactly what I... We, together, we have the perfect human instinct type antennae. Why can't that big bozo Scott see that? I don't understand. You think that's why she hangs around cemeteries? Because she's sad? No. She's the one. The, the girl I was telling you about. Danielle is Dominique's sister. <laughs> Dear Jake, Julie, you don't think I would actually use this information against you, do you? Well, the words cutthroat and competitive have crossed my mind. All right, fair enough. I mean, I guess if you were Jake or Eve or Joe, I'd blow you right out of the water. But you, Julie Morris Devlin, are different. How so? You're just... I wouldn't hurt you for anything. But you would the others? It's my dad thing. The way I was brought up. Failure was not an option. Tough operator? No. It had to be the best, or else. My sympathies. Accepted. So, Dr. Devlin, it seems that like you and I have more in common than you realize. My dad's been great to me. This isn't about him. No. It's just that, uh... I knew there was a reason I felt comfortable with you. You're smart, you're rich. You're together. Oh, yeah, that's me. Totally together. Especially after 30 hours of no sleep. Don't you know? You are so beautiful. So Danielle is Dominique's half-sister. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, and I just, I get the feeling that Dominique sent Danielle to me when I really needed her. The next time you're feeling sad, I want to hear it from you. Gotcha. And, Doc, I, um, I really do want to be a mother one day. You will be. <sighs> you promise? Well, I'll do everything in my power. Say, uh, Lucy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Some kissing going on. Don't look. Daddy! Uh, let's see. Could you do me a favor? Serena wants a story. What? She wants a new story, and, um, I'm out of stories, and I know you have a lot of stories, so could you read her one? I would love to. Thank you. Okay, you. Come here. Here's our plan. What do you think? We go outside. On the deck. We get some chairs, we sit down, we look up at the stars, and I tell you this whole story about... Sigmund. It's great deal. Let's go. Okay, have fun. Oh. You too. Oh. Ow, ow. Oh, you got my arm. You're going so hard. Oh. <laughs> this way. Yeah. I can't open the door. Thank you. What for? For letting Lucy spend time with her. Oh, she's doing me the favor. 
Since when have you ever run out of anything for your daughter? You got me there. Here we go. This is pretty nice, huh? How about we snuggle? Nothing? Okay. Okay. Put your head there and we'll get all cozy and nice. Um, all right. Hmm. But I'm not going to sleep. Oh, no. No. Oh, couldn't do that. No, I don't want you to do that. Not until you hear my tale of Sigmund and the time. Oh, the time he helped me pick something very nice for a big important date I had. But he's a duck. Yes, he most certainly is a duck, but he has very, very good taste. Now, let me see. One night, I was trying to get ready, and I wanted to look my best, you know? I must have tried on 20 zillion outfits. And the whole time I'm trying all these dresses on, he kept looking at me like, you know what? I've got the answer. But he didn't say anything. So finally, I got so pooped from trying on all these dresses. You know, I was getting tired. I literally fell flat down on the floor. And I looked up, and he was staring at me, and I said, so, Sigmund, what do you think I should wear? Did he tell you? Well, sort of. You know what I did? I figured, hmm, you can't really tell me, so I'm going to hold each outfit up. So I did. And finally, on this last outfit, he quacked so loudly, I knew it was the one. And you know what? It was perfect. I looked gorgeous in it. Good night, Mommy. So, um, well, do you know this Danielle? I just met her at the hospital. Her fiancé is an intern. So she says. It's quite a shock, isn't it? Having her be Dominique's sister. If she is. Some reason you don't think she's on the level? Well, I just think the timing is a little fishy. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. I know that this will hurt you. I only hope you won't hurt as much as I do right now. I'm honestly trying to do the right thing for both of us. In time, I hope you'll agree with me. We, we just weren't meant to be together. I'm sorry. I do love you. Always. Danielle. Jake. You're leaving me, aren't you? 